Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jean here. Um, Jean True Love and Jean's Block Party 2019 we're doing. Uh, but before I get to my blocks, um, I just wanted to, to uh, tell you, or if you've known, I went to, my, I went to a quilt show last week. Um, if you've not seen it, you should look it up. Um, we went, my, my son Maxwell and I went to uh, the AQS, American Quilting, America Quilter Society quilt show out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, I mean, a couple of people were saying, is that the Amish country? It, what, it is the Amish country. I've been, there, I've been there lots of times before, a couple hours away from our home. Um, and uh, the Amish have the horse and buggies and everything. But we went to the convention center. We went right to the convention center, right in the middle of Lancaster. So we didn't see a horse or a buggy. <laughs> but we did see Amish or Mennonite uh, people. Actually, a few men manning the... Um, um, vend some of the vendors were working there. It was interesting. Um, so that was that. I didn't, I, I didn't buy a lot of things, um, except I bought this. Look, I bought this. Um, I, I, I was sewing, right? I, I, I don't need to buy a lot of fabric and anything anymore. So I'm, I'm very, I, I go shopping in my room, as you know. But I bought this. There was a vendor there who had these really pretty, um, you know, sort of boho chic looking things. And I'm like, oh, I think that's really pretty. So I bought this. I did buy, oh, I bought, I did buy, um, for, for a project I'm going to do, I bought a, a, a large orange peel template. That's what I did do. I don't know where it is. I, it, is it over there? No. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be making that. And then I looked it up. I think it was only, I think it was only like $12 or something. I, I looked it up. That was the show price, but I looked it up and it was a, it was maybe thirteen or fourteen dollars. So I think I got a, a deal. Um, but this week, this week, I've been really, really busy. So with our block party, I thought I got to do something quick. Um, so I embarked on when what I do is my schedules on Wednesday. I make my things and I film them <laughs> Wednesday morning. <laughs> well, Wednesday morning turned into Wednesday afternoon, turned into Wednesday evening. I had to step away from my sewing room. I I messed up so bad. I was filming and I was cutting things wrong. This was one, this was a block that I was wanting to do. And it turned out, it's pretty little, totally the wrong size. I, I, I was following directions on a pattern in a book and I, I, I messed up and... I cut out another whole block. This was this is block twenty seven, uh, block twenty seven and twenty eight week, right? This was supposed to be block twenty seven. I messed up, and then I cut out a whole bunch of stuff, and I was filming it. I've deleted it off my SD card because it was a mess, and, and it 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 really was about six hours of my time wasted, and I don't have that time to waste. And I thought, oh my word, and I've been busy this week, so I have a, a few other things on my mind. So that's not our block. <laughs> It's 27. This is our block 27. I thought, oh my word, I'm going to do a simple four patch with a lovely cross and X, however you want to see it, um, in, a, in our block 27. This is block number 27. Um, I did a, I did a, it's five different fabrics what I used. One, two, three, four, five for the main fabric. Um, so you can use up more scraps. Uh, you can use up a little bit of yardage or a fat quarter if you have it. I like this because it has, it's not quite a snowballed corner. Well, it is, but it doesn't meet in the middle. It has, a, excuse me, a little bit of a gap right there. So it makes it more of a little interesting little cross or plus sign. So I like that. That is block number 27. Um, and then I'll give you a sneak preview again. Block number 28, Feed Flying Geese that we're doing, but this is block 27, very simple block with just a little bit of a interest here in the corner, nine patch. Um, and so somebody had said, um, oh, uh, somebody had made a comment, oh, um, they're, they're, they're over half square triangles. And I explain it in a, in a, I, I say in the, I think the following tutorial that um, so many blocks are made up of half square triangles. Sorry. Um, they might be more intricate. They might be smaller units. But so many quilt blocks are made up of half square triangles or variations of, as you've, as you've been seeing. But I was looking at all my blocks put together, and I'm thinking, oh my word, you know, a lot of variation. I only have two colors. Um, here, I'll just show you. Here's my, this is how I have them laid out. I have, uh, because I, I wanted to 
again, we're not keeping them in order when we go on the, um, when we put them together. But these are my blocks that I have labeled just so I know what blocks they are at this point in my, at this point in my, in my um, block party here. So starting with block one, but look at all of this, right? We have a lot. I'm sure you guys have the same thing. So this is, this will be here. This is block number 27. So, um, yeah, so I hope you love it this, t this day. Um, I want to thank you all for the kind comments for um, Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell is such a delightful, <laughs> so, so fun. He's so, so good company. And um, at the last minute, as I said, I took him out of school and he kept ratting me out. I'm like, would you shut up? <laughs> it was fine. Educational textile exploration <laughs> trip. And um, he tried a long arm. If you haven't seen the video, it's really, really good. I was actually very proud of Maxwell because he doesn't really like to write in cursive. And we're trying to encourage him. And he's left-handed. Nobody in my family is left-handed. So along with his autistic challenges and, and writing, it has a, he has a difficult time. He got on that long arm, and he's like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, my goodness, kid, you can't write on paper. You can write on a machine. <laughs> we had so much fun. And then at one point, he goes, he, he, he's such a good sport. He goes, I think I'm the, old, I think I'm the youngest person here. And um, at that moment, it was so funny. Oh, somebody behind him, a little girl, about a little seven-year-old girl walked behind him. It was just so funny. And uh, we're like, oh, no, you're not. But, um, yeah, he was good company. Uh, we got lost on the way home. Oh, oh down, the, down the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Ooh, somebody said, what's a turnpike? It's a toll road. Pennsylvania Turnpike, which has gotten so much more congested and so many more exits. And uh, I was saying, I don't drive on the turnpike. And I, I was freaking out. Anyway, um, we made it home, but Maxwell fell asleep in a heartbeat. We got in that car and he fell asleep. It was a lot of visual overload. I was concerned. I was concerned slightly uh, because of the noise, the crowds, uh, even the smells, the visual overload, the lighting, um, that he would, you know, have a seizure. But he didn't. He, we did good. We took a lot of breaks. We, um, we drank a lot of water. We went outside, got some fresh air. And he was a trooper. He was a trooper. Real good friend. But Jen and I are going to Lancaster, back out to Lancaster for another quilt show. I believe it's on May the 10th. I will let you know. Uh, May the it's been between the month, 11th, maybe it's 11th. I'll, 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 I'll let you know. But Jen and I are heading back out to Lancaster County. Um, so um, if, if at another, not at, not at the convention center, somewhere else. But if you can join us there, we met two people who recognized Maxwell and I. We're like, oh, that's so cool. Anyway, um, so anyway, that's that. This is block number 27. I hope you love it. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the tutorial to follow. All right, folks. Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye. Here we are on block number 26 of our block party. Very easy blocks, hopefully this week. Um, at least this block is much easier. I, I sort of beat you up on block... Oh no, excuse me, this is block 27. Block 27 and 28. I beat you up on block 26. <laughs> um, block 27. What we're going to have is... Uh, what I've pulled from my sort of my tan and my more creams um, and the burgundies, lighter colors, high contrast, of course. It, this is sort of a cross, very simple nine patch with just a slight uh, variation on the um, on the on the uh, middle blocks, which I'll show you. Um, and it's just basically snowballing the corners. So what we need for fabric A, which is my center cross, is five three and a half inch squares. I've cut five three and a half inch squares from my fabric A and that will make the cross. Now fabric B, I'm just choosing, what I've done is I've, I've done four different fabrics, okay? And this week I'm not doing real, uh, a real, real dark and a light. I'm doing more medium tones. These, This is the darkest one, but these are nice and medium tones. So what I've chosen, I've chosen four different fabrics and I've cut of one, I've cut out of each of the fabrics, I've cut one three and a half inch square of each of four fabrics. And then of my four fabrics, what I've done is I've cut two 
one and five eighths inch squares. Now the one and five eighths inch is, you have one and a half, right? You have one and a half on your ruler. You have your one and a half. One and five eighths is the, the line right after your one and a half. So it's that line, the first line right after one and a half. One and a half is one and four eighths. One and five eighths is the line right after one and a half inches. So you're going to be cutting two one and five eighths inch squares of four different fabrics for this block. Now what I've done already, which we are going to want to do, is we are going to on these four different square on these um eight different squares here what what I've done is I have I've done it already I've marked on the diagonal I have my pen and my ruler and I marked on the diagonal from diagonal to diagonal remember when you mark you put your ruler just slightly inside because you want your pen doing the marking from corner to corner so I've marked that on my diagonal on those eight little one and five eighths inch squares. So now what we're going to be doing is you're going to be getting your, you're going to be wanting to get your design board. Is that in my, yeah, hold on. Yeah, you're going to be wanting to get our design board and we're just going to sort of set this up right now. And what we're going to be doing is however pleasing you want this to be, you're going to be putting your uh, your cross, your lighter fabric here, you're going to be putting that this way. Okay, there's, there's, your, there's your cross, as it were. And then you're going to be putting your dark centers. Look, simple, 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 simple nine patch. Let me put this over here. I'll put that over there. Yeah. Um, now... So here's our nine patch, right? Simple, 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 simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But what we want to do is you want to configure this the way that we, we want to, we want to configure this, um, this way. So if we have this piece here, and again, this week it's about organization. So what we're going to be doing is on this block here, when, how we've done our, um, our diagonal, we're going to end up with it being this way all right so the the block which you will have seen once it's sewn together so the the cross is the cross is um sort of there's a it's not meeting here okay we're, we're you know when we when we put these these uh, snowball corners on they're not meeting there's going to be a, a gap here as you've seen on the block but what we're going to be doing is you're going to be wanting to put maybe maybe even um pin this the way they they, they want to go because it's it's a little bit tricky you, you have to get your orientation so see this one goes here and they go on the outside do you understand what I'm saying they go on the outside next to that square so let me get my pins and I'm going to pin all this lot I'm going to pin this right now so I can see I'm going to take my is that being, yeah I'm going to take my uh, I'm going to take my pin I'm going to just scratch them to the corners there and you always make sure remember that your line where you're stitching is in the is in it from the center of your block to the center. We've done lots and lots of of um, snowball blocks here. I'm just I'm just putting this just for um, organizational sake here. Okay, you see what I'm doing? They're going on the outside top corners. You want the colors to be exactly where you want them to be. So now I'm going to turn this around, and then I'm going to take this one. And again, my, my marked line is from the center to the center. I'm going to scratch that together, this little square. I think it's very important. And then I would do it over here. And then when we put it together, 
this makes a cross but a little bit interesting cross and this I think is a I think this is a good way to do it oops center to center you want your line center to center making sure that they look exactly like that scratch together just that little corner And then one more, center to center. They're not going to meet. You don't have to worry about that. That's the interest of the block. The, the, your cross is going to have a little bit of a, 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 as you saw, a little of a squared off corner. So there, there is my block ready to be sewn. So I'm going to check that this, this one is going to be there. And that one's going to be there. They want to be on the top outside of our block. So I'm going to go over to my machine and I'm just going to start sewing. I have my design board here, just as it is, and I'm just going to be picking up these these units here, taking this over, and since it's already pinned, I'm going to just sort of scratch it together, and as we do, we're basically stitching on that line, remember? But we're not. We're stitching one thread inside the line over here, just to allow the turning. We've done this a million times now. And this is just to allow the turning. Make sure it's nice and square. Just go slow. One thread next to that line in here. And then right off. And then before we trim anything, we're going to make sure that that corner is lovely. But I'm going to do this one now. Now remember when the other snowball or the other corners we had to trim we had to trim them before we sewed, but this one doesn't go all the way to the middle. If you understand. Right off. And then we're going to see if that there you go. Beautiful. And then I'm going to trim that just a quarter inch away, each one. I'm going to bring this back. And there we go. We can see that when our nine patch is put together, it's going to make a nice, interesting cross. Super, super simple. Super simple. Don't have to touch this one. It's just literally eight thing seams we're stitching. I'm going to go over, I'm going to take these pieces over to my ironing board. I'm going to set these seams here. I'm going to set those seams and I'm going to roll them up to the dark side. And then I'm just going to come together and put my nine patch together. I've, I've ironed all of my bits down. And since this is such an incredibly simple block this week, um, uh, I'm not going to square them up. I've just I've pretty much cut all of these three and a half, three and a half. Um, so now I'm just going to start putting my block together and what do we do we put the pretty side over to the pretty side and making sure our orientation is right and this is where our design board comes into it scratch these together and again I was saying last week there is a way quarter inch seam there is a way to, to chain piece them like you could do this one I don't I'm not encouraging you as a beginner still to do that if by all means you want to do that it's absolutely fine but I I think even I do it this way most of the time um, you know you can chain piece a block but this is such a simple block anyway it's so easy um, I just do one at a time pretty side to pretty side quarter inch seam and then lay it back down, and there you see our configuration of our pieces there.
I'm going to go over. I'm going to press. I'm going to set my seams. And I'm going to press them. Now this, this is telling me this is going to the dark side, and then I can just press this into the inside. Remember, you want to alternate. Doesn't matter here. And then this goes to the outside. So these seams. So I'll press these to the outside, and then these to the inside, so we can nest these seams beautifully. I've pressed and set my seams, or I've set and pressed my seams, and now it's a simple nine patch. We're going to concentrate on this point here and this point here. So I'm just going to pull this over to the pretty side, pretty side to pretty side, and I'm going to nest this. The seam will have been nested. One's going one way, one's going the other way. By all means, put a pin there if you need to, but you can pretty much feel it. That one's that way. You can pretty much feel it. I'm just going to anchor that with a pin. All my colorways, again, just keep organizationally your colorways to be where they should be. Quarter inch seam. Across that nested seam there. And that one. And then we're going to square this up because there's, it doesn't quite match. I didn't square each block, but we can just square up the block itself. There's that. Make sure my colorways are good. So now I'm going to be mark matching these two seams. So I do it this way, pretty side to pretty side. Take it off my design board. Make sure these these seams nest. One's going one way, one's going the other way. That one, I can hold that together. That under my presser foot, quarter inch seam. cut it really well, we've stitched it really well, and hopefully I will have a nine and a half inch unfinished block here. So easy, simple, simple, simple. So there is my lovely cross, right there. I like it with this little opening there. It's, it makes it a little bit more interesting. I like that. All my colorways, all my colorways are going the right way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that seam. I'm going to press it and I'll be back to measure it. So ta-da! There is my block. There is my block that I've done. Now, oh, I, I just like it. I think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. There's a nice contrast. There's this little thing coming in to make the cross part. I like my fabric choices. Now I'll see. I'll see if it's squared up. Oh, there's a little bit it's, pr it's pretty okay. There's just a little bit. Oops. There's a little bit here where that little tr that little triangle. Remember, I said it was just hanging off just slightly. And then up here, these side. This side's okay. Just slightly, just slightly big there. And that's that where, where that little triangle was cut. Just a little sliver. And there's my block. <coughs> there's my block. Beautiful. Ta-da. So that, folks, simple, simple nine patch. Just wanted to give you a break. I needed a break this week. i um, making a lovely block. So that is block number 27. And then we're going to be on to block number 28. So I hope you love it. I think it's so pretty. Obviously, your, your fabric choice. That's what you're concentrating on this week. So you can change it up. Four different fabrics. Lovely. This could be dark. Your backgrounds could be light. But it makes a very interesting little block. Love it. Alright folks, see ya.